Friends. I love it. <laughs> I said that's gonna be the cut, the name of his new book. <laughs> that's Amazon worthy. <laughs> okay, take us there. What are you gonna do? All right, let's go. Okay, so here's the thing. I was I was watching some clips uh, from a new movie that's coming out. Uh, it's already on a lot of places. It keeps releasing in new markets. It's called Hellbound, and uh, and then I, I was just watching some uh, I was watching some uh, articles and some interviews. It's a documentary. And uh, just kind of the whole idea is to find different people's views on what they think of Jesus, how they view Jesus. And they happen to interview some people from the infamously ch known church called Westboro Baptist Church. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know, uh, can you guys hear me all right? Oh, yeah, I can, we can hear you fine. We almost cut you off there just because you said the name of that church. But Yeah, go fair ahead. enough. If you uh, if you don't know anything about uh, this church, uh, they're known for their website uh, called GodHatesFags.com, and uh, it's a pretty unfortunate thing just when you start to delve into what they uh, you know what they believe about God and what they believe about Jesus, and uh, you know I guess they talk about these kind of things a lot, just how much they think God hates everybody except for. Uh, you know the chosen a chosen few and I, I think they've come to think the only chosen few are the people in their church and every other church is going to hell and uh, yeah, yeah. so so uh, you know kind of just uh, you know, I actually had the pleasure of them showing up at one of my shows once oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah and picketing at least an event that I was at that I was uh, everyday Sunday was playing at and uh, you know so with this um, I started to think about, you know, like, there's a lot of different perceptions about who Jesus is, who God is, and there's a lot of different things that we can talk about, a lot of different things that we find in the Bible uh, that we kind of sometimes question and sometimes wonder, uh, you know, what does this mean or what's the context of this? And uh, if you dig into the scriptures, you'll find places that, um, you know, condemn uh, such things as gluttony, eating too much, uh, head cover... Uh, uh, commandments to wear, for women to wear head coverings like the coffee filters on your head sure. which I've seen around that Fort Wayne area yeah well I'm not wearing uh, today yes no, so. uh, and you know uh, prohibition of eating shellfish uh, calling people idiots and, and things that we happen to do all the time that uh, we're just like man you know like I guess I uh, never really thought about that is that important and what does God think about that and I'm not saying that some of these things aren't very worth thinking about and I think some of them are uh, but at the same time uh, what do we what do we think about when we think about God and who he is and um, you know does he hate us unless uh, you know we're in the chosen few or um, you know or do I believe the places in the scripture that talk about the fact that uh, that God made us all in his image that he desires for all of us to come to know him and uh, that he that he loves us, you know, that he loves us that much, that he sent a son, that all who believe in him can can have eternal life, can start experiencing the kingdom of God right now. And so uh, I was reading this past to uh, to your theology, your beliefs, your understanding about who God is, who Jesus is, and who you are. And if you don't think that that's important to understand and to know, I think you can easily end up in places where you're like, man, I did not think Jesus was like that. And so, uh, in a, a book of Matthew, uh, in the scriptures, uh, chapters 22, um, it says this, uh, says, one of the uh, experts in the law, one of the Pharisees, he uh, asked Jesus this question. He says, teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul. This is the first and greatest commandment, and the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. And the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, what I was just thinking about is this, you know, running into a... Uh, a church that is about as hateful as it gets. They literally hate people. Yeah. They, uh, you know, uh, pick at military people's funerals all in the name of Jesus. And I don't know what uh, Jesus they're serving, but it's not the same one that I'm yeah. serving. Yeah. And when you start to look at, uh, man, you know, some of these things that people like to uh, 
you know, maybe pick on and say, oh, well, these people are going to hell. These people are not, you know, Christians. And, you know, I think we have to be very careful and just say, uh, you know, like, what is it that, what attitude am I supposed to have towards other people, uh, whether I agree with them, disagree with them, wherever it is that I fall, uh, what kind of person do I need to be? And I think what Jesus says here sums everything up. Can I live my life that if I just love God with everything that I have, and if I love people with everything that I have, I love them like I love myself, is that enough? And I think according to, to the Jesus that I believe in, the Jesus that I know, I think it is. And so, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, head coverings, mm, is that a context we could probably talk about? Yeah, sure. You know, gluttony, is that maybe important to talk about sometimes? Sure. Are there other hot topic sins that we would love to talk about? Sure. But at the end of the day, uh, it really all comes down to, am I loving God with everything that I have? And do I really love that person as much as I love myself? Do I love them like Jesus loves them? And uh, that's what I want to talk about today. That's it. That's, and that's a great word. Thanks, bro, for bringing that. Because yes. lately we've been talking to artists, and they're all kind of on the same page. That Why are we making this so complex, and why are we making it so sin management when it should be about what you just shared? So thanks for bringing it for real all the way from Columbus, <laughs> Ohio today, bro. Thank you. We'll talk soon. <laughs>